Welcome back. Now the last part of your business manager area within your settings has all your logistical information. It has all of your payment methods on file. And if you want to place them on file, you can do that here by adding them using this button. You can add in two-factor authentication in the Security Center. All you need to do is to click this Setup button. And with it, you can turn on the setting for either admins only or for everyone that's using your account. This will require individuals to log in with their phone as well as a password when they gain access to your account. Whether you have invitations you've received or that you've sent, you'll find them in this request area, but they're only going to be here if they are outstanding. So if they've already accepted your invitations or you've accepted theirs, you will not see them here in this section. You can control what kind of notifications that you'll get here in this section. And you'll probably want to go through the drop down menu to make sure that you're getting the email that you want or that you are not getting the email that you do not want to receive. In the business info section, if you want to delete your entire account, you can do so from this area. All you'll need to do is to click this button that says permanently delete your business, or you can edit all of your business information here in this section. And it's in the setup guide that you can add any aspect of your business manager account that you may not have completed. Anything within add accounts, pages, or people, you can walk through a wizard for each one of these aspects in order to add them to your account. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.